you, sir. I do believe we are live. I got a gun on me already. This is not a good thing. Wow, it's kind of like floating in midair here. <laughs> we skipped the intro today as I do not have an intro for a classic, but I could not wait to get into this, my friends. I hope everybody is doing well and the near Christmas is coming. Holy cow. And as such, we wanted to head out for a little Christmas special hunt. I'm here today with my man, Mr. Sean Johns. How you doing, buddy? Doing pretty good. Looking forward to uh, getting some classic in. Fantastic, my man. Fantastic. That's right, guys. We're hunting Rudolph. We're getting all festive up in this here stream, and I hope you guys are feeling the festivities as well. Now, we are on a I, uh I don't need to wear this gear. I just thought it went with the beard I have on. That's right. That's right. I, I found a hack. I got a beard in the game. It's a Santa beard, but it'll do. <laughs> it's not that white in real life, but holy cow. I got a beard, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. So here we are. Check out the festivities, my friend. It's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy about this. My loadout today is a little different than what I would normally do. I'm all about this reverse draw crossbow, so I, if I can find it here. So that's not it. No, it's here somewhere. There it is right there. Absolutely love this bad boy. So much fun. What a great weapon. This thing is silent and violent and has so many kills notched under its belt. I think about nine-tenths of my kills have come from this and the bow. But I did also bring my 223 in case we take out some links. Sean, you brought a bigger boomstick in case we have to take the reindeer at range. Did you not? Yeah, I brought the 9.3 by 74R. Very nice. Very nice. That's fantastic, buddy. I love that gun. And I saw you had the reverse draw as well. Yep. Beautiful. And I also brought the, uh, well, you saw it, saw it already, the little twenty two pistol. Oh, yes. Yeah, I had to drop mine to fit everything I wanted. Now, there are links on this map as well. Uh, guys, we're going to head out. Let me show you here what the plan is. Um, basically, we're going to start right down at the bottom here. And we're going to move all the way up this road. We're going to come all the way up. We might stop at this particular stand, give it a few calls. But this is our destination. This is where we want to get. I've had some luck up here. I have got a Rudolph thus far. I'm hoping to be able to get some more. But there's also a lot of links that come in. So I brought some toys for that. Now, before we head off, we're going to just uh, admire this gun for a second. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Oh. Um, I wanted to bring mine, but then I couldn't bring the uh, 9.3 or the crossbow. I had to give one of them up. <laughs> it's a thing, man. It's a thing. And I see Whitetail Runner was the first in the house, followed by Donald Landman, Lengthier Heart, Stalin Rider 22, J Essex, the best. Hunter Henderson is also in the house. Mr. John Talon, how you doing, guys? Gamer National is here. Lobbins has come to join us as well today. We've also got Xander Lee, Animal Lover, I Love Animals, is in the house. And number one white male is here as well. Silver Moon, how you doing? Good to see you. Bowman 5997, Wyatt Ashali, Roger Allen, Austin Dobbs, Mr. Reeky Racer, my man, is in the building today. Good to see you, bud. Thanks for coming to hang out on the stream. Would have loved to have you to come out, but hey, it's a little early for him. He's had a whole lot of time in Classic. You know, it's kind of nice to bring along a... Uh, uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for, Sean? Uh, you know, a secret Fish weapon. Auto? Uh, yes, I that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and Xander Lee just rolled in on the big old subscription early. Welcome, Xander. Good to have you with us. Warrior Gaming is here. Sam Moose. And we've also got Mr. Flair. How you doing, Flair? Uh, it, it paid in number one is here. Michael Arik, Trevor, uh, Trevor Armbruster. I'm a god YouTube. Hunter Trisbiak is also in the building. The Phantom Gamer has joined us. It the Jedi. And we've also got with us Big Hoss. What's happening, guys? Xander Lee, Caleb France, and I do believe, are we caught up? Stace Helfrick is also here. Mr. Henry Grobelar. Hello, buds. How you doing? Lettuce the Swifty is in the building. Jared Lowther is here. Classic rules, he says. I know. I'm loving classic. I, I just can't get enough of this. I'd love it if Call of the Wild had this right here. This option is great. Being able to see your avatar and everything with it is just fantastic. Kevin Walbridge is with us. And Michael Eric says, we. <laughs> Lewis Berry is here. Dip, dip. Izzy Whistle. Hello, guys. Tyler Scott. Abe V is in the house. Xander Lee. Colton JD45. What's going on, man? Good to see you all. Gus Bus is in the building. And we're going to get rolling, guys. I'd love to be able to walk in third person. Alas, it's not an option. Let's get moving, Sean. Shall we uh, start taking it to him? I don't know. Honestly, Sean, I got I to gotta be straight with you. Now, I've, I've done a few, uh, maybe three reindeer hunts since this competition is on i really find it hit and miss sometimes 
I'm not so successful. It, it seems to be the. I mean, as we know, the reindeer they they migrate. I'm told across this map. Pretty cool, eh? That is pretty cool. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm I'm no help in that arena today. This is my first time playing him and all. Hey, hey, so. no worries, but <laughs> you know the drill, stock and spot as we go. Uh, you know, we might run into them. I've had a lot of luck just walking up this road, and I like to hit the two stands. So I figure by the time we get up to the top stand, I mean, I'm hoping to have enough time to spend most of our time there. So we'll just, we'll see how we make out and see what's happening. Jeff Skellington's in the house. How you doing, buddy? Gus Bus has rolled in. I see we've also got with us James Brantel. Hey, what's happening? And Rasmus Lundgren is here as well. Uh, guys, you're all absolutely amazing. I know this was a, a mid midday stream. We don't do a ton of them. I like to do them because it, it lets us, you know, get a lot of our friends from over the pond. Um, I just can't believe we got 71 people with us here already. I, I've never done a classic stream. Wasn't sure how it was going to go. We're not. That, that's a road deer. Like, you know what? As far as I'm concerned, that's a musk deer. We're just going to keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you need to check your can check. Oh, no, that that's not a thing. It's not a thing. Yeah. Nope, not in this game. I yeah. like that, actually. <laughs> I, I love that, man. It's all about shot placement. And for those of you that have not tried, now the Hunter Classic has been around since 2009. It's not a new game by any means. I still think it's pretty. But what I love about this game is the immersion. Everything that you have at your disposal, it's unbelievable. Let me, while we're walking here, let me show you. See, like, check it out, okay? So I got on a bunch of outfits. I got a whole outfit on. The hat's just because I love the hat. I got the glasses on, and these actually make a difference. I could I could have changed my gear and put on whatever I wanted. Um, this map really is, is kind of a mixed bag. You don't need a snow outfit, but... I just like the look of it. And we'll go ahead and pick that Prezi up. We got presents. Presents. Get out of here, Road Deer. We're going to have to shut you up. I didn't even bring a Road Deer collar, did you? Um, I don't own one. <laughs> well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's a thing, man. It's a thing. <laughs> it is. Cash all day rolled in. I see Austin Lewis has joined us. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Good to see you, my man. Very nice mount, by the way. Uh, you should throw that in Patreon chat and share with all of our friends there, man. That was awesome. He just got that mount back. You remember that buck he got this season? Yes, I do. Oh, Very nice. Oh, did you see the mount? I have not seen the mount yet. Oh, I feel kind of special. Never mind. Don't show anybody, Austin. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Jared Lowther is in the house. Oh, he killed nine Rudolphs up there. That's where we're going, buddy. That's where we're going, Jared. Right to the top northwest. I found that stand worked quite well. Just sit in the stand, call him in. It's a beautiful thing. And it's nice that the way the stands work in this game. I, I really do like that option. Uh, you can sit there with a buddy and hang out. I mean, heck, I was doing the bear challenge last night. I got a bait site set up, and I was in a competition, which I didn't check today. I was actually in first place, funny enough. But... I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it's not going to hold. I was leading with a 22. Uh, that's the score of the bear. But I literally sat up there. I put a movie on, and I watched a movie. It just killed every animal that came in. It was fantastic. It was just an absolute blast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stace, no worries. I completely understand. It is that time of year. Now, that we will most definitely kill. Uh, I love me some meese. I love me some meese. All right. I think I got my collar equipped. There it is. Very nice. Very nice. The other thing I like about this is, look, you can mess with the calls. You don't have to do the full thing. You can kind of do it how you want. Let's get up on this hill here, Sean. He's just down on the other side. We got a Famali as well. We don't worry about her. We want that male that called out. We'll pick it up along the way. Colton says he's never played the classic. Is it worth the money? Okay. So let me just talk about that because I, I have a lot of people on the channel here that are all Call of the Wild fans. And I know that, you know, if you're like me, you get that itch and you want to fill it. Now, classic can be expensive. If you're like me, it's a problem. You get your know, huh. But you can do it on a budget. There are certain weapons you can use on the majority of the animals. You can do it reasonably cheap. The game itself is free. So it just depends on willpower. <laughs> I, I got to be straight. Now, I actually plan on doing some uh, classic content here on the channel because I'm playing it so much. And we'll probably do some GM giveaways and stuff. That's the currency in the game. So there are options. If you're looking to get into it, maybe we can help. If you're in our Discord, I have a link there. It's like a referral program. So if you take that link, you get some goodies to start you out with. So that helps a lot. I get a caller. Uh, it's the same color every time, so I might end up with a bunch of colors after having said that. But uh, I implore you to check it out, guys. If you're a, an avid hunter, 
if you like hunting, this game is legit. It, 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 you know, I mean, look at this. It's gorgeous. Sure, the graphics are older than Call of the Wild, but it's so immersive. Uh, I have a really, really good time in it. And I know a lot of people that do prefer this over Call of the Wild. Of course, I know a lot of people that prefer Call of the Wild over Classic. It, it's hard to compare the two games, you know. Okay. Yep, it really is. Yeah, right? I mean, Sean, you started at the same time as I did. We were both Call of the Wild guys. So we came to this afterwards. What do you think in a Classic? Oh, I, besides the uh, money factor, <laughs> uh, I love it. I mean, there's, there's just so much more you can do. Yeah. And yeah. all the different weapons and no consect and uh, I don't know. It's, it's it's a nice change of pace from Call of the Wild. It really is. It really is. Well, we'll take that new trail and see where that is. We might as well get a couple kills on here. Now, how far do we have to go? we got to make sure we watch it. So, yeah, we're almost a quarter away up, so we'll have plenty of time. I fully agree, Sean. I fully agree with you. And, you know, like Sean says, the money. You know, you got to have willpower, and that's where I lack. <laughs> It's just where I lack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Uh, Michael Eric says, boom, stick, yes, sir. Ooh, Jared got a 228 moose on Red Feather Falls. Nice. Harley Snyder says, hello, Beard. I just got the level 5 axis deer I spotted a while ago, a 960. And when I did my can check, oh, no, I had zero. Oh, whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It scored 960 with a zero can check? No, that's what it would have scored, right? Well done, though, my friend. Spotting that out, Harley. I mean, hey, it happens, bud. You'll you'll find them. Mega Chazard has rolled in. What's happening? Good to see you. Hey, sir. Schuston, says Jay Essex. That's awesome, buddy. K Group Gaming. Hey, uh, one of Sprite, Sprite Cranberry. One of, uh, what a Sprite <laughs> Cranberry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing, Sean. <laughs> it's a thing. Well, we'll start off. We'll see what sort of moose we get in here. I, I've yet to get, huh, as you saw in my lodge, I've yet to get a nice moose. And Jay Moore just rolled in on the big old subscription, Harley. Welcome, Jay. Nice to have you out with us here, buddy. Welcome to the channel. And welcome to the stream. As I said, guys, a little something different today. And I hope you enjoy this. You know, it still fits the genre and the whole theme of things. <laughs> Mega Charizard says, yeah, worth it. It is. And Xander Lee says, definitely worth the money. I agree, boys. I love it. You're right. So Jared says, classic can be played reasonably cheap if you go bare minimum. And you can. You have to buy a membership. It is. Uh, you can do it on a yearly basis. What is it, Sean? Like 50 bucks or something like that for the year? Something like that, fifty or sixty for the year, or you can get it. I think a three month one for like twenty bucks, or it, there, there's all different options. Right, and you know the nice thing about it too, um, oh, it's not a very big moose, but we'll still kill it. It's coming now. It's coming down the hill. It's a three fifty to four eighty weight wise. The nice thing about it too is you know there's competitions, guys, so you can earn GMs and EMs in it, and the GMs are and EMs are in game currency, EMs the real money, but you can earn those in competitions. And so the competitions add something that Call of the Wild just doesn't have, which is something I really like on here. Viral, my man, how you doing, buddy? Hey, we were in voice chat last night. You were AFK for a bit, and then you disappeared. I hope everything was all good, my man. Make sure to come and say hi. We'll be hanging out there tonight, I'm sure. Brogan Myers is in the house. How you doing? Mr. Wolverine, my man, how are you, sir? Robert J. Fish is in the house. He says, hey, brother, beer, glad to see you on Classic. I'm glad to be on Classic. I'd be embarrassed to tell you guys that uh, in the last week, I think I have 120 odd hours in classic. It's, uh, I have an addiction all of a sudden. I, I held off Sean for so long playing this game. You know, I. What have we been playing? A couple weeks now, if that. Yeah, if that, and yeah, I, it's it's hard to. I don't know, because once you do one part of it, you want to do another, and, you know, right. like the bird hunting, you know, yeah. the doves, the, not the doves, the ducks, the uh, Canadian geese, all, all of them. Yeah. So if you want to do everything in the game, it can get really expensive, but you're right, you can do a pretty cheap setup, you know, besides the membership, like the 9.3 by 74, for instance, it's a great rifle, you can take almost everything in game with it. That thing is OP, man. It really is. Yeah, it, is. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Sean, we're going to move on from here. You want to drop that moose? It's going to take a little bit to bring it in. There's two of them there, actually. He's, uh... There's some females out there, too. Oh, it's the female I'm looking at there. I thought that was the male. I lost where the male went. He came down that slope. Yeah, he's to the left behind some brush. I can't see him at the moment. I figure he's right in around here somewhere. 
but he'll be out momentarily. Okay, well, wait till you got a shot on the mail, and uh, you can let that thing ring out loud and proud, sir. Yes, sir. Anthony Jones just rolled in. What's happening, Mr. Whitetail Hunter? How you doing, buddy? Your luxurious Eggman has also come to join us here today. How you doing? Uh, everybody, I wish Classic was for the Xbox, says Brogan Myers. I agree, man. I, he I headed really back do. up the mountain. What? Yep, he's heading back up over the do uh, the females. Huh. I can see them moving up there. I love the skies on this map. I really do. Thomas Vandergraaf, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I don't see. There he is right there. Can you get yeah. eyes on him? Yeah, I can see him. If you're good to go, you take that shot when you feel comfortable. Make a count. We ain't tracking. <laughs> Oh no, that's and see that's another thing I like about the nine point three and this game. Uh oh. two into them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Someone bombed me. Robert J. Oh. Fishing. <laughs> this is now we just need to finally hunt together on here. Lol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> well we don't see you in the Discord. We've been out hunting with everybody lately, man. It's been a heck of a time. Have we ever had fun? The barber's chair has been lit. I don't even know what to say. Last night was a little quiet. There you go, man. There you go. If he wants to stop there right go. there, he might have a nice heart shot. Oh, yeah, just just give the bad angle now. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. now I don't have a good angle, but I can put two in him. Yeah. Oh, well, or just the one. Or just oh, he's one. falling. He's <laughs> slipping and sliding. He's down. Yes, sir. Had a boy. Very nice. You can take a moose running away on oh, one of those cows, but it's all hunter score. It's a beautiful thing. Great way to start off. King Rican, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Thanks for coming out. Oh, Robert, you got me there, man. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that. And thank you very much for that, by the way, Robert. And it's great to have you out. It really is. Hey, Killer Kong, long time no see, man. Good to see you. Simon J is in the house. A bigly boo has come on out. He says, gonna get that 30 point buck for Christmas? <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Brittia says, since there are now bird species call a wild, how about a clay pigeon range? Also would like some fast doves for a challenge in Hirschfeld. And absolutely, that would be pretty cool. I gotta say, those teal, they're a lot of fun. I, I like them better than the mallards, hey? Like, truthfully, I think the mallards are all right, but here, I'll pick this up for you if you don't mind. Yeah, no, I was cool. going to say, go ahead. I, I find the teal a little hard to hit, a little harder, I mean, than the mallards when they're flying away. It could be done, you know, but uh, let's pick this up here real quick. Just a little guy, 455, he scored a 111, but that's all right. So you can see on here, guys, it, it, they give you a little more, I mean, kind of the same details, I guess, as Call of the Wild. It's the score that I like. That all adds on to your hunter's score. And then we could taxidermy them, and I'm not taking them to my lodge today because it's hideous. <laughs> it's not ready. It's just not. Xander Lee said, kapow! <laughs> Michael Eric's on the boomstick again, yes, sir. Can you, oh, hey, oh. John Tallinn says, can you give my son Eden a shout-out? He's frying my brain at family life. You know what, John? I most certainly can. Eden, welcome to the stream, my big man. It's great to have you out with us, and I hope you are ready for Christmas. And, uh, John, you might not want to let him see Rudolph get shot. I'm just saying. <laughs> but a big shout out to the big man Eden. Thanks for coming out today. Con where the con artist has come on in. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, it's a scary twenty, says K Group Gaming. I but seriously, I'm I'm thirsty. He keeps throwing down this sprite and cranberry. What's that from? Someone else was saying it in Discord. That's obviously from something that I've missed. It's I it, have no idea. I can, but so I did see in the chat Josh Jane's got a rare legendary puma for his trophy lodge oh ho, ho. very does nice. it show up as rare that's what i want to know that's, that's what, something i've yeah. been curious about lately that's what i was just about to ask because it's kind of one of those things you know we've had the conversations about it do we hold off on what diamonds we take you know but um yeah let us know please that would be fantastic Ooh, prezi uh, the Phantom Gamer says, I shot a 996 cinnamon teal. He loves the trophy pose. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, shooting ducks, Trevor, for your consec is a great idea. It's also a good way to drop your hunting pressure in Call of the Wild. Makes a huge difference. Okay, can we carry on through here? And Sam Kickletter has just rolled in on the big old subscription. Harley, welcome, Sam. Nice to have you with us, man. We sure can. We're going to cut the field here, bud. Sounds good. Keep your eyes peeled. You know me, I'm staring at chat. This is a harder one to live stream, I'm seeing already, because 
I don't know. Maybe my eyes are adjusted to Call of the Wild better. I have a harder time spotting animals here in Classic than I do in Call of the Wild. I do, too. I do, too. I think it's, uh, it's just different. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Sorry, just John said that. It just made his days gritted from ear to ear. That's fantastic. That's what I love to hear, man. That's fat. Oh, just great. Hey, Chats Robbins, how are you doing, man? Good to see you out on the channel here, out on a stream. Thanks for coming out. He just got a, oh, a piebald reindeer at 555. Very nice. He's allergic to big ones. <laughs> yeah, it happens. What do you do, though, right? Classic is only on PC, Gus. Uh, it's a game that's been out for a little bit, and I don't see it coming over to console. Super Black Dog just rolled in on the big old subscription army. Welcome, Super Black Dog. Guys, if you do like the classics and you want to see more on the channel, make sure that you hit that like button for me, my friends. Uh, we are going to do more. i got more planned. Probably won't happen much until into the new year. Uh, in the new year, I'm hoping to do a celebratory golden tree stand hunt because uh, so many people have been asking about it i've talked about it so much so just kind of show people off some of those cool spots and you know reiki racer has been absolutely incredible for me um he's doing a lot of classic streams these days although i do think he's got a fernando hunt hunt coming up tonight at uh at five o'clock or sorry six o'clock pacific standard time you guys are definitely going to want to come and check that out i'm pretty sure it's going to be my man reiki racer Rhett kiwi and non-inspirational gaming as they head out to yes, park sir. And fantastic jay essex just donated through super chat he said hey sir how are you today jay i am fan Fantastic, my friend. How are you doing? I hope everything finds you well. Thank you very much for your support. It's very much appreciated. And uh, Merry Christmas, man. Merry Christmas, everybody. I this, this feels right, Sean. We got snow coming down, dude. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, I'm from Texas, so we don't know about this stuff falling from the sky. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Well, we get a little bit here every now and then. Not too often, I got to admit. I'd like to see a whole lot more, but uh, if I head back east or if I drive for a few hours, I can find snow. Well, we had a call from a moose. We're kind of getting on a moose hunt here, which is okay by me. <laughs> I'm going to lie. Oh, I got missions going down here in the top corner, too. Let's see. How far out was he? We're probably going to be... Oh, I swapped. I swapped over on Z Hunter, mate. I think I may have just seen him step behind a tree up there. Do you want me to give him a call? Let's do it, my man. Let's do it. Mr. Nude, how are you today? Oh, Josh James tagged me into a Twitter. I will check that out afterwards, buddy. Absolutely. Viral has dropped a, a Sprite and Cranberry link for me. I'll have to see what that's all about because I don't know. I just find it hilarious. <laughs> Caleb Sears, welcome, buddy. Uh, no worries, my man. He's still working. It's all good. Ducky Pooh is in the house. Happy holidays to you, too, my friend. Dylan Fender, hello. Hello. I think I said hi earlier, but I wasn't sure. Thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, Josh James got a gray. Oh, you're referring to somebody else. Sorry. I, I, it's bad. I jump all over the place. <laughs> Uh, yes, absolutely. Josh, we would love to see that. Throw it up into the Discord. And if you haven't already, guys, the link is in the description. Do us a favor. Come and join the party. That's what it is these days. Uh, and it just grows and grows and grows. It doesn't stop. It just keeps on going, man. It is unbelievable. The Pink Freddy Plush. How are you doing? He's stand hunting on Fernando. How's that working out for you? How is that working out? I haven't really done much in the stands. I have... Um, I have jumped up onto the roofs a fair bit of the <laughs> the lookout towers. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's kind of fun. Really, Justin has rolled in. He says, hey, Jack Spirit, how are you? I'm fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic. Welcome, Austin Dobbs. Good to see you. Speed Racer 11 395. Welcome, welcome. Don't worry. You'll get those diamonds. You'll definitely get those diamonds. I guarantee it. If you just keep at it and you're, you've got a little patience, they happen, my friend. Just uh, look after those need zones. <laughs> I'm just saying. Natasha Troidles rolled in. What's going on, Natasha? Good to see you. Thanks for coming out today. Oh, I just noticed. I'm just going all the way up here. Anthony Jones got a 1,000 bear in the Hunter Call of the Wild. That's pretty awesome, man. That's pretty that is awesome. It's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the sky, Sean. Like, is that not gorgeous? They do do a really good job with a lot of the graphic models on here, especially considering it's, you know, a 10 year old game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Here, look. Right, so if you can see, Sean, here you go. We were talking about this. Look on stream. 
you see my glasses on and then my glasses off. That's what those yellow glasses do. So you'll see as I'm looking down a scope how much it brightens things up. I find it really helps animals stand out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. JS6 says, doing well. Merry Christmas. Enjoy the time. Thank you, my friend. It's my favorite time of the year. I got, oh, we got a, we got a lovely little cow rolling in on our side here. I didn't have this loaded. She might spook. I got to cock it. Oh, then I can lay down. Hurry up. Hurry up. Die, die. Hey. <laughs> See if we can bring that on in. Kid Killer Twenty One, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Cold says, right. "Is there cross console play for Call of Duty?" No, there is not. Uh, I, it's something that uh, we probably won't see in the future either. Unfortunately, uh, just kind of is what it is. All right, if you stop, we can probably just pop this since it's here. Give it the old eye shot. Should we shoot it in the eye? <laughs> Whoa, was that you? Oh, yeah, was I was trying to see if it would stop her. I hadn't experimented with that, but hello. Okay, hello. Is <laughs> it the bull you're looking for? We'll let that come on in because he's right there. Is that him? We got a bunch of cows coming. No, that's a cow. That's a cow. But, I mean, we're supposed Are to be hunting reindeers. <laughs> <laughs> nice to get a couple kills in, though, just to start things off. So we'll give that a moment and see what happens with it. When do I upload, asked Simon J. So, Simon, I'm, I'm having some issues with my editing software at the moment. I consider myself a streamer. What I tend to do is I stream a lot. I stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I try to do streams during the week. Just, uh, you know, little random happy streams. Um, I do have a, I have something planned for this weekend, so keep your eyes open for that. When I start a game, I tend to do a lot of guides on it as I like to help people. Uh, that's why I do the guides. However, I do like doing hunt videos. I just haven't had the time during the hunting season. Now, a lot of that's changing. So this new year rolling in, um, I'm going to have a few series started. Uh, in which case, you know, as I say, the videos, I don't have a set upload schedule. This is another little guff. He's right over there. About to get ran over. You want to give him a toot? <laughs> this, this moose is skating on top of me. <laughs> Her? Oh. There's a moose on top of me. <laughs> oh, oh there <laughs> wow. <laughs> How you doing, miss? <laughs> I guess you didn't get the memo that we'd be shooting stuff here. Caleb Kanowski, how you doing, man? Welcome. It's good to have you out. Epic Ethan has come to join us. Caleb France is here. TMN Case has also come to join us. What is up, guys? Great to see you all. What in any software do I use? That's really Justin. Uh, I have Adobe Premiere Pro and uh, Camtasia 2018. It used to be Camtasia 9, but I just upgraded to the new copy. I actually prefer Camtasia. I do a lot of Photoshop, so it makes more sense to use Adobe. Uh, I'm just difficult like that. Steve Farrell just rolled in on the big old subscription. Harley, welcome, my friend. Good to have you with us. And guys, if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe just like Steve did. Tag the little bell beside it. Do it with two heads if you gotta. And don't forget to join the Discord. I tell you, Sean, Sean, <laughs> Sean, if they hit that button, how should they do it? Do it with two hands if you gotta. Oh, that's good. You're only you're doing it better than I am these days. <laughs> Has that mail come back? I've been flapping, looking at chat. No, I, honestly, I saw him slightly trot away when that last one spooked. So I don't know Did how he? long okay. it takes in this game for them to. All right. Well, he's not a very big one, anyways. Let's get oh, moving. Oh, they're right there. All right, right. Hi, hi. Hi. Yeah, that way. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Red Dawsony K has just donated through Super Chat. Thank you, my friend. It's great to have your support and really great to have you out with us here today. You going to stop? We're going to go two. give him a shot rate. Oh, it didn't drop. Thought I would have got double lung off that. There was another male moose there, yeah, too, that I see came him. out right as you shot. I see him in the background. Okay, we're going to let him settle in for a moment here. We'll just take our time squeezing over there a little. Was he uh, Was he any better? I don't uh, know. He looked about the same. Was he? Okay. And Tasty Macaroni rolled in on the big old subscription, Harley. Welcome, Tasty. Nice to have you with us. Oh, I can't believe that didn't drop. We hit it right in the lung. Should have got double lung at that range. No problem with the reverse draw. 
We'll take our time. Now, I find a lot of times, unlike unlike Call of the Wild, where we often shoot them, we go right after them. You let them settle on here, it tends to work a little better for you. Sometimes they'll go and they'll lay down uh, rather than just booking it. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, he didn't get very far. So we got double lung. Let's go pick that up and carry on. Caleb got a 951 diamond level 4 black buck last night. Oh, Caleb, you got to come and jump, uh, drop that into Discord for us, please. Um, just because of our spreadsheets and stuff. And that does happen, guys. You can get a level down. But a 951, we've had 950s on levels down from the recommended level. But uh, let's pick this up real quick. There's a female above you there on the hill. This was a 103, a little smaller than yours. I do not care. We need to move. <laughs> we got to go find these Rudolphs, man. Let's get onto the reindeer. <laughs> let's boogie on down. Very nice. <laughs> and Mr. Big Grizz has just rolled into the stream. Hello, my friend. Very, very good to see you. Uh, he's here and he'll be listening. He's going to pick up a load and head home, so he is on the road. He lives the true American truck simulator dream right there. That's right, my friends. He drives Big Rig. It's pretty dang cool. Swerving Golf 281 has just rolled in on the big old subscription early. Welcome, Swerving Golf. Nice to have you with us. We have 101 watching, my friends. Please make sure to hit that like button and do it with two hands. As Sean says, you don't got it. I mean, it's entirely up to you. I'm just saying. You know. <laughs> hit the like button or Sean's coming to your house with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are we doing here? We're looking for some reindeer. We're hoping to find some reindeer. Maybe get a call from some reindeer. Something's going to happen. And a big happy birthday to my man, Sean Johns, from Reeky Racer. It was Sean's birthday yesterday. How was your dinner last night, bud? Oh, it was good. Went to a local Mexican restaurant here called Iguana Joe's, which Ooh. is one of the best ones in the area, and had some fajitas Ooh. and some nachos. Mm, okay. Okay. That's where the, the food talk ends. <laughs> I just asked how you did. I didn't ask you. You know what? That's it. We need to fill our freezer. Let's find a reindeer. <laughs> That's awesome, buddy. I'm you know, I'm glad you had a good day. I had the chance to talk to Sean last night. We hung out in the barber's chair in the Discord for a while. Um and uh, yeah, you can tell he had a good time. It's always fun on a birthday, isn't it? It is. It always is. Okay, nothing over here. We'll move up to this first stand. We'll give it about a, a 15 minute to a 20 minute soak. See if we get anything in. Um, the top stands where I'd like to spend the majority of our time because you get links up there. And I did bring some toys for the links. We're going to shoot some kitties too, man. It's got to happen. <laughs> How do you put pictures in the Discord? Asked Elroy Boy. Well, first, Elroy, make sure it's in the correct channel. We don't put any in general. Uh, we've got channels for all that stuff. If you want to show off a kill, there's a channel called Show Off Random Kills. Uh, and your best bet is uh, just to ask people when you're in there. Uh, it's just a matter of dragging and dropping. To, that's literally how you do it. Take, Find it on your computer, drag it over and drop it. It's that simple. If you're on a mobile device, it's uh, just finding it on your phone and, and hitting the little plus sign. It's, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy, but we'll walk you through it, bud. Everybody in there is fantastic and always willing to help. So I haven't had a hide nor a hair of any of these yet. Uh, let's see. Where have I put my... <laughs> That's not what I'm looking for. Hey! I like this. <laughs> Thanks. Seriously. Sean, have you seen this? Where are you? Where are you? What are you doing back there? I was getting a present. Piece of candy. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. All right, you got to see this. You got to see this. It's, I don't know what it is. It cracks me up the way we work these antlers things. Hey, get moving. What are you doing? Let's go. Are you stuck? Who, me? Yeah. No, I'm walking right towards you. You look like you're stuck. Check it out. Watch. You watch it? Yep. Here, here we go. Here we go. Here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I don't think that's quite how those work. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's really not. Uh, but it's all right. It's entertaining and it's finest. I mean, I just love it. I don't know why. You find pleasure in all the little things, right, guys? I mean, that's what keeps me going. I don't know about you guys. I just love it. <laughs> 
Steve Frell says, hit the bell out of boy. You're a good man. I love it. I'm doing great, Big Hoss. Great to see you, man. I am doing absolutely fantastic. Uh, I, I'm pumped to be uh, out looking for some reindeer. You know, just switching it up, something different. Uh, you know, it all kind of ties together. So even if you don't play Call of the Wild, hopefully you find some entertainment in this. And uh, at the very least, you can have a laugh at my expense. Sean does it to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I lost it. <laughs> uh Super Black Dog's comment. <laughs> what a, what a, super Black Dog. My six-year-old grandson just saw the title of your video and started crying. Oh, no. Oh, I, I, wait a minute. I, hunting, I should have put hunting with Rudolph. <laughs> My kids, too, were like, Dad, you're going to shoot Rudolph? I'm like, well, it's just pixels. It's not really Rudolph, you know. <laughs> Oh, me, do you remember that old uh, deer hunter knockoff game where you were the deer and it had like beer collars and free beer signs and you were actually a deer in a stand and you shot hunters? Oh, that <laughs> is fantastic. Really? Oh, it was hilarious. It had, you know, beer for attractant and uh, little bikini babes for uh, decoys and it, it was uh, hilarious. I gotta tell you, I'm glad that's not a thing because I'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> These things happen. These things happen. Christian Nelson, welcome. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming out. Why right, can't I get it? There we go. Let's just hang out here for a moment, put a few calls out and see if we can get anything. We're not going to stay here long. I didn't have a ton of luck at this location, uh, but, you know, maybe we might get something. You want to work the moose caller, I'll mash and bash. Oh, you got that too. <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay, what ready? happens quite ready? often when there. I play this game ready? is... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Go. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I, I'll have some buddies playing the game and, oh, are you hunting? Oh, we're hunting over here. Well, what's over there? Well, reindeer and bobcat. Well, I don't have a reindeer collar. Let me go to the store real quick. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty much how that goes, right? <laughs> you know, that's, that's that's what's happened to me. Oh, what are we doing today? Well, I'm gonna load up my map. I got a, a bait site. Oh, let's check it out. Yeah, yeah. Half hour later, I was setting up a bait site. There we go. We caught a moose. <laughs> Hello, Steve Farrell. How are you doing? I, I, I said hi. I'm pretty sure I said hi. Hello. Hello, Tay. Welcome. It's great to see you. Oh, Mimi got a mythical melanistic puma. That's awesome. They look great, man. They look like Black Panthers. I love them. They do. Yeah, they look really good. Uh, it's they're actually it's probably be, probably my favorite fur rare variation of any animal in the game at the moment. When I saw it, I think it was Carity. Uh, that posted it in, in Discord the other day. Wow. I just thought, wow, that's amazing. It was. Mm. It, I, how would, I would love to get a melanistic on that stand in the lodge. That would be awesome. There you go. Yeah. Well, Will Baker says, I don't know if you're answering questions, Jax, but if you are, when, it, when is the time to sprint versus walk versus crouch and call the wild? I found myself always crouching, but people I watch seem to walk just fine. Uh, you can run to between 150, 200 meters. It depends on the animal. If it's a predator at 150 meters at a run, they're going to they're gonna see you and hear you if they're looking in your general direction like a bear, that sort of thing. Rule of thumb. Um, you know, generally around 200, I stop running and I'll stay up at a walk till about 150 and then I'll make my stock. So definitely, uh, it's a valid question and then we're always answering questions, but don't even sweat it. Uh, you know, that's and what we're here for. Yeah. I would also include that depends on what level you are. Cause if you don't yes. have both your soft feet perks or skills, I believe, yes. um, you make a lot more noise when you're moving through the brush. So that could change how you move around. And that is very, very true. Such a good point. Uh, and we found that out from starting on Xbox, right? I mean, yeah. holy. <laughs> we got to ease up that hill. Or the moose. The moose is loose. Why are we shooting moose? We want reindeer. <laughs> but now I don't want to shoot reindeer. We've, we've upset a six-year-old. And that's not what I want to do. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> Hashtag feel bad. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see if we can get this moose in. And if that's all that comes then we might just shoot and cut loose and move up to the next stand. Next stand is really where I get all my action, and I want to make sure we're up there with a with about a full hour left on the stream because uh, that's where everything went down for me the last few times I've been on here, with the reindeer anyways. 
Nice. Welcome back, Austin. Great to have you back with us, buddy. Hey, Regil, how you doing? The Dragon Gamer is also here as well. Uh, Mr. Moose better come out, says Andrew Lee. <laughs> 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 Luxurious Eggman says, I know that game of that deer. He knows the game. What's it called? Oh, yeah. What's it I'm, called? I gotta, I'm I gotta gonna play have to it. Google it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gotta happen, man. It's gotta happen. Oh, and Snook, hello. Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you with us here. We're going to do just about another uh, five minutes in this stand. Then we're going to boogie on. We want to get these reindeer going, man. Holy it man was, alive. There it is. It was called Deer Avenger. <laughs> Deer Avenger. Wow. <laughs> just wow. There he is right over here. Oh, no, that's not a bad looking moose. There's two of them coming in. That's probably the biggest moose I've seen yet. 500 to a 620 on the weight. 620, I do believe, in classic as well, is also max. So uh, let's bring that bad boy in. We're going to punk him with the reverse draw. Look at the other one. He, I mean, hey. He's, it's it, tiny. He's got pole mates. <laughs> well, you're, you're fly. King of the world, baby. Sorry. I just, just You're doing like the oh, Titanic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's bizarre come on moose hurry up double time we got reindeer to go kill and that's it we're gonna boogie after this man we're gonna we're gonna jet up there um we'll make some time on the road it won't take us too long if we uh if we hoof it pretty good let's see is that the the bigger one there no, it I is believe that's that's gorgeous is it yeah look at it oh yeah no that's the nice one that's, that's a nice gorgeous. looking one there so, actually, now, where did I put that? Is it here? No, that's not what I'm looking for. I, I swear I have them equipped. There we go. I want a range on this. Yeah, it's at 54 nice. right now. That's not bad. I've seen it. The paddles could be a whole lot wider. Oh, hold on. We got some more. Oh, just a female. More coming into the back. We'll get a spot. Now, the nice thing about Classic Guys is you actually get to score animals. Okay, he's at 34. I'm not going to make sure I'm locked and loaded here. I'm going to be able to shoot him from here. We'll get ready. Let's, uh, boop. And that should be that. Yes, sir. Oh, I could have gave a countdown. You probably wanted to shoot that other one. That was, uh, I'll just, I'll just live it in the moment. Yeah. I'll good. just, I'll just get over here. Oh, okay. Are you, you're, you're in the wood. <laughs> yeah, I, I was laying down. Yeah. That, that was, I just totally got caught in the moment, man. I saw a moose with a half decent rack. Everything I see is no mates when it comes to the beast. And you know how much I like the beast. Come on now. You know how much I like them. The Federal Gamer says, I have a game suggestion, Sea of Thieves. It's a pirate game and I think you'll like it. I love Sea of Thieves. Uh, actually done a fair bit with this guy right here. And uh, some of the people in the barbershop. Let's see how we did. What is a good scoring moose, by the way? Let's see. Um, I think over 200 is good. I, I put it at 194 in my lodge. Yeah, I think 200 is what you're shooting for, right? That's only a 147. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. We'll take them and we'll move on. Okay, let's get to this. Let's go find reindeer. I thought he was going to be a little bigger than that. I thought he would have been too, man, to be completely honest. But he didn't have much spread. He had a lot of pallet. Yeah. But not a yeah, lot of spread, did. so that's, you know, the score is very dependent on that. Um, we actually, that's that's about, in real life, that looks about the size of the biggest moose that I've shot. And in real life, that's not that big. I mean, in considering, I've never got a massive satellite dish. I, one of these days, man. When we go north, hey, Sean. <laughs> go north. Yep, you go know, north. Look at you, he's playing airplane. So it, it makes that animation, I guess, every yeah. time you go in the scope. Yeah, yeah, I love it. It just <laughs> looks great. <laughs> You're like a kid playing. Yeah. Oh, hey, hold on, there's a Prezi. Piece of candy. Go ahead and pick that up. Here, grab uh, grab the purple one. There you go. Oh, nice. Piece of candy. All right, back onto the road. I want to make some ground because all we're getting here is moose. We need to get onto the reindeer. We need the reindeer. 
Ricky Racer has been kind enough to go ahead and link the Discord link there, my friends. If you haven't already done so, please do us a favor. Come and join us. Let's have some fun. There's always hunts going on on one of these two games, whether it be Call of Wild or Classic. Uh, lots of great guys and gals. Lots of other games being played, too. It is an all-around gaming community. Um, however, we do have a lot of hunters in there, which is kind of cool. i got to be honest. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Will Baker says, that's a big bullwinkle. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? And, and all in all, that's a small one compared to some of the ones you see here. I've seen, I think it was in Flinter's Lodge when he took me in there. I couldn't believe the size of the moose he had. It was massive. Just massive. Yeah, and there, Big Grizz is confirming it. He said 200 is a trophy, but 180 is decent. There you go. Thank you, Grizz. Very much appreciated. Uh, I Yeah. I'm still learning the ways of classic. So it's it's one of those things for me. I haven't quite got it all dialed in yet. <laughs> yeah, right? So I'm doing it now. Yep, you are. <laughs> <laughs> we... <laughs> we sound yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Totally, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Gris has got two over 200 in his lodge. Terribly disappointed. Nice. Todd Trail to Nets, so no. Do you have one for me? That'd be fantastic, man. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> he's, he's asking for a $25 gift code. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there will be. Oh, we just spooked something. I am planning on uh, doing some giveaways on a stream this weekend. Uh, I'm hoping to do a couple streams. It just all depends. It's the last weekend before Christmas, so we got to see how it goes yes, with the message. And Trevor yeah. Armbruster has just done a super chat. He says, hey, Beard, been hunting a Call of the Wild. Got seven golds today. Still trying to get my first diamond, but can't complain. Oh, and he got a dilute mule deer that looked neat. They do look neat. They certainly do. They do. Congratulations, Trevor. That's awesome, buddy. That's nothing to shake a stick at, man. Seven golds. That's pretty awesome. And thank you very much for your support, by the way. It's, uh, it's very, very much appreciated. You want to see the coolest dilute I've seen? Uh, this guy who's trailing back here. This this guy who's he's, he's king candy. of the world. <laughs> you know, now he's now he's dancing. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Um, he has a dilute diamond mule deer on the day of release, Mister Sean Johns, and that video went off too, man. Like so many people checked it out because it is a beast. I I have yet to see one better than that. I mean, it had the big rack. You know, there's multiple sizes of racks. There's a couple sizes per level, right? Well, this one was huge. Let's just make sure that was a moose. It ran off. It was a reindeer. No. <laughs> Aw. I don't think we're going to get it to come back. It's gone. we got to keep our eyes on here. Well, they flee that way, huh? Kind of the way we're going. A little yeah, more to sort of. East. Yeah. I find they almost get hemmed in a little bit here. Hey, reindeer level two. <laughs> Told you I was new. They get hemmed <laughs> in a little bit, I've noticed. Well, at least, with, I mean, the, the three times that I've hunted here, it was the pattern I thought I was seeing. Keep our eyes of the peeled. Let's take a look, make sure nothing's calling back at us. Caleb says, Jack Spirit just dropped that level four black buck in general call of the wild. Awesome, man. That is awesome. Thank you. I'll check it out after the stream. I don't load. I try. I, 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 Grizz at Austin. <laughs> Those two, man. I love it. I love it. Oh, my. I've had an awful lot of fun with this game. And uh, I really hope that you guys enjoy it. It's, uh, I mean, obviously, it's not going to replace Call of the Wild, but I would like to add it to the channel and have some content around it, have some hunts and, you know, and, and do some of the specialized stuff. A lot of the, the stand hunting and the, you know, the bird setups and whatnot. Well, I thought it was really cool what Ricky and Rec did the other week with the competition. I didn't know that was a, a thing. Like, you can have a legit competition with a spreadsheet in-game and everything. <laughs> That yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. So he shouldn't have gone too far if he was moving this direction, as you said. Oh, one sec here. Oh, 
Oh my, the cough. The cough is real. Okay, <laughs> there we go. I had to change my screen back. Every time I tab out, it does that to me. There we go. Um, in my experience thus far, with my lowly almost 800 underscore, <laughs> I found these animals, they only, when you spook them, they only go so far. I mean, they do run out, though. They seem to run out of render range, which is a good, oh, wow, <laughs> 600 meters for the most part, it seems. At least that all of our tree stands. But maybe we can get this guy to come back. Is that moose or reindeer poop? Uh, we'll see. We shall see. Wow, that that's uh, that's that's definitely uh, yeah. This is huge. Uh, it's not pellets. <laughs> <laughs> this is the yep. big brown bear, dude. Oh wow! Yeah, man. I hadn't seen the brown bears yet. I, you know, I haven't taken a brown bear yet in this game myself. I don't think. I'd be surprised. Imagine a call of the wild too. That would be fantastic, man. <laughs> oh wait, no, I did get a brown bear. Did you? I'm mistaken. Yep, I got a 27.7, I think, in my lot. Oh, there you go. Very nice. Yep. 27. Did they score up to 28 as well? I or, so. or did they score more oh, than I think 28 is a good one. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I got that list in my head. I'm trying to memorize the numbers. You know me. When I start to play a game, I like to learn a game, and I like to figure it all out and see what's what and what's going on. Nothing as of yet. This, you know, this uh, was really good to me the last few times I've come out. We're about halfway there. Almost. I kind of want to pick up the pace, though, but I was hoping to come across them. We got brown bear tracks here, though. Um, let's maybe uh, get a little walk going here, buddy. All right. Yeah, we were doing the crouch, hoping we'd come up on it, but we might find something with this little opening coming up, this field right here. And yeah, I find this, actually, I find Classic and the new map on Call of the Wild to be very similar as far as spotting the animals. They seem to, uh, well, except the moose against, you know, the white background. It They blend a lot better, it seems to me. I don't they know, do. there's something about it. Yeah, yeah, no, I fully agree. I wonder if they'll call back, put a couple calls out, see if we can find anything. We will cross our fingers. Harley Snyder tracked a 981 Puma today for two hours. He went over his track so many times that I had to refrain from throwing my controller. Oh, I get that. <laughs> I, can, I can completely relate to that. Yeah. Especially <laughs> on Fernando. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fernando just seems to be that map. They're, they, they've got these like really small paths and areas that they like to hang out in. And they go back and forth and back and forth. It can be a little frustrating. Oh, I see something moving over Dar. I was certain I just saw something. Why is there a uh, pot on the side of the road there? I don't know. I just saw that. I thought <laughs> I saw it up here. Hello, Philip Ryan. Good to see you, buddy. It is great to have you out with us, man. Uh, always a pleasure. That's your footsteps. I'm like, huh, what am I hearing? <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is this? Collectible a Norse kind? pot. Okay, because of where we are. Yeah, Viking Norse. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Okay, bud. So um, if we're just calling the end of that road, 12 o'clock, I saw something at about 11. I saw it moving in the back, but I don't see it now. I'll maybe go up onto this ridge and okay. see if we can get something to poke its head out. If it pokes it out, we're taking it off. Yes, sir, says Northeast Woodsman. That's right, buddy. That's right. Hey, Bitten, how you doing? A greetings from Germany, says Sven Vogs. A greetings from Canadia land, my friend. Great to have you with us out here today on this stream in the glorious Hemmendal. It's just so, so pretty. We're looking for some reindeer right now. It's Christmas time. Christmas time in Hemmendal. Uh, what do we got? Was that something Colin? No, it was not. It was bad singing. Oh, oh that's what it was. <laughs> I was like, I, di I didn't hear anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was something that hurt my ears. You know, <laughs> I, 
My dog's passed out over here. She's literally got her head in my shoe. <laughs> that maybe she's not passed out. Maybe bad things have happened. I would have put your head in my shoe. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Now we got lots of country here, bud. Yeah, it's wide open for the most part. I was certain I saw something over there, but I'm not seeing any movement now. No calls. No nothing. It's kind of making me want to run to that stand. I ain't gonna lie. We are at 54 minutes. Come on. Let's let's just... We're gonna boogie. Maybe we'll see something. Maybe we'll rustle something up. We gotta get up to that stand. That's where I wanted to spend uh, a good portion of the hunt. I had so much luck there, and I want to put down this collar. We'll get some links in, possibly some moose, and ultimately, the reindeer. Oh, if for any reason we don't get a Rudolph today, uh, I do have a video. If I can get my editing software to, to work as it's intended, um, then that would be pretty cool. I'd love to be able to show you guys what it looks like. I could probably put a screenshot on screen, but of course, you've seen the thumbnail. It's way more cool when you see them walking around. You scope in, you're like, hey, that's got a red nose. <laughs> you could always take them to your lodge at the end if you wanted to. Oh, no, my lodge is hideous. Nope, not happening. <laughs> nope. 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 nope, nope. What do you mean it's, what do you mean it's hideous? It's not like you, you. there's dirty laundry everywhere or anything. It's a, it it's a lodge. There's no, there animals. <laughs> there, there, there might be. <laughs> All I've got right now is the tropical lodge, and I literally just threw everything in there, and I have so many animals that are not worth throwing in. We got a red fox calling. That could be fun. I got my little 223. Let's uh, get down low here. Hide the dog under a rug and don't tell Mrs. B, says Chud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it is what it is. <laughs> Lacey Spies yesterday killed an albino moose and a diamond duck and a diamond kudu. That was a busy day, Lacey. Very, very nice. Welcome back, Steve. Great to have you back with us. Okay. Let's see about, uh, where did I put this collar now? Let's see, is it here? No, is it here? Yep. <laughs> awesome. That stopped the uh, reindeer collar because the reindeer collar had been uh, going pretty oh, nuts for a while. Was it really? Yeah, that little <laughs> multiplayer glitch. Oh, lovely. Okay, so we need to spot where this guy's coming in from. I got my little 223 with me, so we got options. We got options. We're going to shoot the area up here in just a moment. Let's see if we can find it. I love the realism to this game. I hope you guys do too. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, make sure to hit that subscribe. Tag the little bell beside it. Hit the like button. Do it with two ads if you gotta. And of course, come join the Discord. I think I've said that a couple times already. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Did I see? See that? What did I see? No. That messed me up right there. That leaf needs to get shot. <laughs> can, we, can, we, can we do it, Sean? Can we shoot a leaf? Can we shoot the leaf? <laughs> <laughs> it might be fun. <laughs> it might be a good time. <laughs> oh, man. All yeah, trophies really are great hard. to look at, says Ricky. You're absolutely right, buddy. Yeah. They certainly are. They certainly are. What's that, it's bud? It's really hard to spot the little animals in this game for me. Yeah, well, it's a, it's, a, it's a challenge. You really got to train your eyes for the movement more than anything because they blend in pretty good. They do. They do blend in good. Well, you keep your eyes peeled on the left. I'll keep my eyes peeled on the right. So I hope everybody is excited for Christmas. If anybody's got any real fantastic blow your mind kind of plans, let us know in the chat. I know I got a couple friends that have gone to Mexico for Christmas. Um, they're gone. They're gone. They're not coming back to New Year's. How nice is that? That's putting in a shift. Wow. I tell you, I'd love to do something like that. We, we've actually done in the past, um, I took Mrs. B and the kids, and we went to Disneyland. That was... Uh, That's pretty cool. You would think so. You would think so. And it was fun. Don't get me wrong. If you like... Uh, it, it's it's line simulator is really what it is. There he is right <laughs> over there. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, We'll let him come in, but he's coming right now, Sean. He's, uh, if you're, you see the way I'm looking, hold on, let me look, pull on my hunter made up. Uh, it's to the northeast, more east than northeast. 
Well, I believe I haven't got to try it yet, but if you look at him through your spotting scope, you can click on him and it'll put a dot on my hunter mate. Is that what I had heard? Uh, it does put a dot on the map. It's a good way. I actually do that a lot when I shoot an animal. Uh, he just went in behind the rocks there. Here he comes. He's trucking it now. He's right over that way there, if you can see that. Haven't actually got any line on him yet. Here he comes. Here he comes. There he is. Oh. Oh, wow. I see him now. Yeah. Bigger than I thought he would be. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh, up on the hill. It is a reindeer. It's a little reindeer. Is it running? Nonetheless, it it's uh, it's stopped. So it's going up the hill. He's right in behind there. You can just see if you want to put some toots out. He's actually stopped now. He's not. Alrighty. He's not huge, but he's got a rack. So it's a good thing. It's a good start. Welcome, CJ. Good to see you. Steve Farrell says, oh, oh, oh. I don't do a bad sound. Are you ready? Are you ready, Sean? Let's hear it. I can't do it now because <laughs> I put myself on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it with does. Do, do, do. No, that's not good. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Now, yeah, you know, I can't do it when I'm on the spot. I was trying it. I thought, you know, it would be a great way to start the stream. Do you know what I tried to do today? Where'd you go? That. <laughs> Where, where'd you go? You got oh, Right next to you still? Scoot it over a little so I can see. Oh, <laughs> oh check him out. He's planking. Look, <laughs> he's planking. Does that hurt when you plank like that? Uh, only at first. Um, he's pushing me. <laughs> <laughs> I just tried to move past you, man. I tried to find a Santa suit when I was out today. I was going to put a webcam on with me dressed up as Santa. I couldn't get a Santa suit. I tried. Um, I was looking for some... Yeah, I know. I'm serious. I was looking for that... Uh, what is it? Hair club for men? You get the coloring stuff? I was trying to get white. I was going to put it all in my beard. <laughs> I'm not even joking, man. That's what I was doing. And uh, it didn't turn out. I didn't have enough time to pursue it. So I, I don't think it's going to be a thing. Maybe if I'm out this weekend and I can find some, but I I, I need the hat and a jacket. Hey, obviously, I, I don't wear pants when I stream, so I don't really need pants. But <laughs> I, it's, I wear shorts. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just crouch and uh, crawl, slither, shake, and slide over here and pick up this fox and see how we did on it. Uh, in the meantime, if you yeah, can call in that reindeer, that reindeer. He'll, he'll come back. He'll come back. He had stopped. He was past the point of spookiness. I <laughs> will just keep on sliding as I tabbed out, and I'm pretty sure when I tab out, that's what happens. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay. I just wanted to double check. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, I think he was right over here. Hard to find when you're not standing. What are you looking for, your fox? Yeah. No, he's... Over here by me. Like, from where I'm at, I can see him directly. Can you see him? Yeah. I see the fox. Is he over this hill? Am I going the right way now? I can't see you. Hold on. <laughs> um, he yes. was up over here. No. He's by this grouping of rocks right here. I don't know if there's multiples. Yep, you're heading the right way. <laughs> I thought it was that rock over there. That's what I get for pushing you around. I really wasn't paying attention. <laughs> um, oh, I see him up there. Okay. Yeah, you see him? He's coming down? Yep. Um, Kind of. <laughs> I probably have time to get up and just go over to this thing, but I it's the first reindeer we've had. And I want to make sure we can bring it in. I didn't see a red nose, per se. Um, I don't see one, I don't think. Not Is I it pretty seen. obvious from a distance? Or uh, I haven't seen one yet. No, not not crazy obvious. It doesn't, like, glow all crazy. Um, where the heck? Oh, he's yeah, he's just a little guy. Where's this fox? It's a female. Where's the fox? <laughs> can you see the fox, Sean? Do you know where it is, yes. buddy? Yes. Where uh, can it you see where that? It's directly. 
Uh, let me pull out the hunter mate so I can get some kind of direction. I can't see it. I don't have a glow. I got nothing. I can probably mark it. Let's see if this works. Do you see that on the map? Yeah. That's where he's at. Hold on. He was that close? Yeah, he was super close. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, I need to get good at this game. Where? He's in front of me. That reindeer is not coming back. Oh, this here rock was blocking it. That's why I couldn't see the glow. Let's take a look at him. I haven't had, I don't think I've had a red fox yet. I've got a lot of Arctic fox. I went and took a whole bunch of them. Let's take a look at you. Isn't that cool? Oh, they look pretty good, man. I like the colorings. So I do believe that is a small one. That's only 17. Oh, it's a female anyways, but uh, nonetheless, pretty cool. We'll take it and we will carry onward, onward and upward. Is that, uh, that was a female you said? Yeah, it's a female. I'm looking oh. at her right now. Okay. If it's the same one anyway. Broken Myers wants to know, do I have an Xbox? I certainly do, my, my friend. I play, uh, actually, we just did a stream on our Xboxes yesterday over on Sean's channel. And if you guys haven't checked this guy out yet, you're missing out, man. You're missing out. We, uh, we do a lot of stuff on the PC, but he's now picked up Call of the Wild on Xbox. So you can expect to see more console content coming from my man, Mr. Johns. Where, uh... Oh, she's facing us now. Can you mark her? Um, yeah, let me switch back to the spotting scoop. Let's see if we can bring her out, get ourselves our first reindeer of the hunt. Steve Farrell is now on Christmas break. That's fantastic, man. That is just awesome. Glad to hear that. Steve Cloxton was spending Christmas with his wife in their first bought house after renting for six years, having married for 17. Steve congratulations my friend that is amazing i love to hear that i honestly you know one of those things hey doing uh doing that big step the big old plunge but it's well worth it so i i, I know that hype congrats my friend and enjoy your first christmas in your brand new to you house is it brand new i mean it's brand new to you and that's all that matters at the end of the day See her moving to the right a little bit now on top of that hill. Oh, did you mark it? Yep. Dallas oh, Winters, Mark's welcome. Taking. It's great to have you with us. I thought I saw another one over here. I was oh, fixing well. to say, if you don't want to mess with her, I could shoot her from here. Well, if I can get her, get eyes on her. There she is. If you can hit her from there, let me, uh, yeah, go for it whenever you got a shot. That's a little guff, too. Look at her. She's uh, Yeah, she's little. As soon as yeah. she stops, I'll drop her. There you go. Oh. Uh, okay, I've had that happen three times now. Well, you might have <laughs> hit her, and she's just running off. I mean, it's... You I know. didn't see a reaction, though. Okay, where are we here? We're going... But I've only had that happen when I've been prone and take shots. Well, if you want to run on up there, since you yeah. shot, we can actually gain a little ground from that, that shot. And, I'll uh, run up there and make sure it was a clean miss. It may have been elevation. You know, I don't know yeah. if that was far enough where I needed to hold higher than I did. Good possibility. Good possibility, bud. Well, we're going to run... Know. We're gonna uh, we're gonna truck it now a little bit and head up the road. I really want to get into this stand. It's about an hour and ten into the stream, uh, and I'd really, really, very much like to see. You know, because I had a lot of luck calling them in there. I actually had quite a few. Now that could be just that. You know, I mean, as they migrate through the map, which apparently they do. Uh, so that's a thing. You know, we might not see any having worked our whole way up there. So maybe we won't go too crazy here. We'll keep our eyes on as we go, and let's see what chat is doing. Did we get anything, Dallas Winters? Well, we've got some moose. Uh, the first reindeer was uh, just shot at up there. It's the first one we've seen, so hopefully we find some more. Heaven Doll can be a little hit and miss, I'm told. Uh, we had to give it a shot, you know? We had to try. We had to find some reindeer. You know, we see something. But if we see one, does that mean there's more nearby is the question, because they are herd animals, right? 
watch for any track while you're rolling up there, bud, if you don't mind. Yep. It was built in 1903, but yes, new to us. Oh, character homes, man. That's what you call that. That's a character home, and that yeah, is awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah. They don't build them like they used to. You know, there's a reason that home's still standing and probably been rented in really good shape. You know, when you look at the new homes these days, they'll fall down inside of 20 years. <laughs> it's all that. I don't know. I don't know if they do it down there with you, Sean, but they use a lot of the, the cheap particle board. Mm -hmm. Oh, it drives me nuts, man. And I mean, it's so humid here that it soaks up the moisture. It soaks up the water. It's like, what's going on, man? Holy. Oh, yeah. I've seen houses that they put the uh what is it half or three quarter inch uh osb is what we call it yep yep down and it rained before they get the tar paper down yes it'll double triple in size from how much moisture it absorbs it's yeah. ridiculous yeah it's like that here too man they do it all the time it's it's just ridiculous <laughs> it's just ridiculous <laughs> what do you do right you go with it uh they says they should have a call of the wild 1903 Springfield. Yeah, for sure, man. That'd be great in Call of the Wild. Let's see. Let's take a look and see where that was. I mean, how do I not shoot the moose? Y'all know the thing I have with moose. I don't know. I don't really want to take the time. Sean's got to catch up, though. He's 300 meters back. It was a hit. I believe it. Yeah. Where she went down at. Trevor I am says, not very good at tracking in this game. Sorry. Oh, I hear you. No, you're quite all right, man. No worries. I'm just going to read. Trevor said that with the Ambrosia perk in the tier, in in the tier of four, in the tower, the second option where it says it adds a chance of locating animal groups. Is that the hoof icon on the map? I'm not sure in which you're referring. And was that? That was another Zemus. We're getting really close here, too. So... As a locating them in groups, do you mean where it spots a group, where it spots a group of three at once? Uh, I'd have to take a look and see which one it is you're referring to. It's not one that I use. I can tell you that right now. I'm uh, I'm very picky on my skills and perks, and there's some that are you know I mean they they could be useful, uh, but there's some that are very useful and almost must haves. Okay, well, while I'm waiting on you to work your way back this way, where are you at? Yeah, you're good ways. Yeah, I'm just picking her up. She's down right here. There's a moose over here, too, though. We're going to get sidetracked on moose again. I know. <laughs> it's, it's turned into a moose hunt. <laughs> and a fox. There's actually quite a few animals over here in this area. I do have a male calling. It's right here. Might as well bring it out. It's not very far. There we go. How many meters from you am I, did Th you say? 300 and change. 392, so almost 400. Tater Talk Gaming wants to know, is this available on console? It is not, unfortunately, my friend. It is not available on console. Courts, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. Always a pleasure. Now... Now, if any of our Patreons are on and would uh, like to play on the map where we're going, you're more than welcome to join. You know the regular drill. However, all I ask is, is we will be in this area here. Uh, kindly stick to the lower areas if you want to do so. That's going to be a, a sort of a running standard with our classic streams when we do them. We will eventually open lobbies. Uh, and, uh, you know, down the road, we might even do some subscriber hunts here. We'll see what sort of interest we have in it. We've had a, uh, a good number of people hanging out with us today, and it's been a whole lot of fun. I'm having a great time. I mean, we still got another 50 minutes at least left in the stream, so we'll see how it goes. There's a male right there. He's got some palmets. What is that? Is that a female? No, nope, that's a male as well. That one looks better. He's got a wider spread. And there's a female coming out beside him. What are you? So you right there. If you want to keep walking towards me. I didn't even look to see what it scored there. I was just spotting it. 390 to 520. You're not the male that was in the back. But we'll bring that over. We'll shoot it. Maybe go for a heart shot if it gives us the opportunity. I'm all about the heart. Heart or lungs. And it's nice that in this game, that is what you do. 
let the bees go. No, Kurtz, I can't do it, man. I can't. I just can't do it. They're here. They must die. You know, it's nice to get some things dead. I, the reindeer are, are uh, you know, because the thing is, the reindeer migrate. You run that chance, you might not even run into them. So, at least we can got to kill something, right? Can you shoot fox with the twenty-two? I do not believe so. I think they're a little too big for the twenty-two. Think? I believe so. Oh, I heard that. Okay, here comes the moose <laughs> right now. Let's see if we can line this bad boy up. Maybe we'll oh, try yep, him. You are right. Unpermitted hit. Well, we got a lung out of that. I don't think we got a double lung, but we were just behind the shoulder. I don't think he's going to go too far. He's not looking too stressed. Yep, he is down. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. There goes another... Was that a moose? Meese everywhere here. Okay, that's it. I'm not shooting any more moose, Sean. <laughs> we need to go and get reindeer. We need to get on the reindeer. We need Rudolph. So yep. let's pick this up. Let's go get in that stand and start calling things in. And should, We should have enough time to get some in. Let's see. Nicer spread. Not as big of uh, pole mates, though. Nicer than the last one we had. 139 on the harvest score. We'll take it. And we're not going to taxidermy you. No, sir. Okay, how close are we? Not close enough. I'm just going to run there now, bud. Yeah, I'm running. Cool. Well, let's do Trying it. Trying to catch up. I see Caleb is level 42 on Xbox. Out of boy, you're almost done your grind. Connor Lynch. Hey, bearded bacon boy. Love to be here with you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Connor. Very much appreciated, my man. Nice to have you out with us. Seriously. That's just fantastic. Oh, uh, yes. Jack Kirby. Or Berkby, sorry. I got a buddy named Jack Kirby. That's why I said that. Glad I was able to catch the second half of the stream. The notification popped up on my phone while I was on a train to visit family for Christmas. Oh, that's exciting, Jack. Right on, bud. I hope uh, you guys have yourselves a good time. That's, you know, wow. Traveling for Christmas. It's what I like to do. I don't know. Whenever I travel, it feels special. feels like you're doing something out of the norm. You know what I mean, guys? And if it's for Christmas, well, it's extra special. I get really Christmassy, guys. Like, honestly... If I wasn't streaming, and, well, when I'm in voice chat, I try not to. I'm constantly singing Christmas carols. It's terrible. I drive my family nuts. Mrs. B, she just shakes her head walking around the house. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I get right into it, Sean, and I get the kids into it. Next thing you know, we're all making noise, and, and that's really just what it comes down to, is making noise. You know? <laughs> but it's Christmassy noise. Okay, we're pretty close. I'm going to walk now so we don't spook this whole area on our way in. Keep our eyes open. Take a little glass here. Make sure there's nothing hanging out down the road. You know right now, I got my arms out. Huh? Just like you saw Sean do it earlier. It's a thing, man. I hope they don't fix that. I kind of like it. At first, I was like, what the heck is this, man? Now I realize it's entertaining and I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what is that? That's oh, it's a log. Holy, that looked all funny right there. We've got a diversion in the road. It's going over to that uh, outpost right there. So we're almost at our final destination where we're going to set up camp. We're going to lay down the deployable collar. It's an electronic collar. I've also got a spinner with me as well, pred bait. That'll hopefully bring in uh, some of the links while we're waiting on the reindeer just you know keeping things in mind we want to keep kills rolling and keep stuff happening keep it interesting because we might not find any reindeer it's just kind of how it goes sometimes in this map i'm told <laughs> yeah, trevor says hit us with a carol. One female <laughs> that's right that's right hey you hear that trevor says hit us with a carol would it be polite my mom's name is carol and she would not be happy with you no wouldn't not gonna <laughs> do it have i finished that, that diamond pig yet which diamond pig which one? I've got a number. <laughs> i got a number of them. <laughs> I wouldn't mind some uh, some diamond pig, come to think of it. Oh, I could use some bacon in my life right about now. Ooh, Prezi. We'll go ahead and pick this up. 
Taxi beer, traveling is nothing special to me, says Grizz. Well, yeah, if you're traveling along and for work, that's a different story. When you're getting on a plane and you're flying high in the sky. Hey, hey, hey. hey. God. What? <laughs> Roe deer, man. Scream it at me. Houston. Yeah, oh yeah. There's going to be some Houston happening. Here we go. So, last time I had the... Look at that. Look at that. This has been a great reindeer spot for me, and we have a bunch more reindeer tracks. Sean, when you come in, if you can, um, try to stay on the west side as much as possible. Because I have a feeling they're all up in the trees. West, according to the hunter mate? Yes. Yes. Okay. Stay says, Jack Spirit, of all the reindeer, you know you're the mastermind. Run, run, Rudolph. Ain't too far behind. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> the one that Mrs. B shared with you. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're going to put this down now. Where is it? No. Where is it? This one? No. Was it this one? I don't even know where everything is in my inventory. Here we go. This is going to call them the links. It's pretty cool, man. So we'll do this, and we will toggle it to the links. There we go. Very nice. Oh, it just sounds hilarious. The links, it's just... <laughs> so we're going to let that go now and let's get the reindeer in because I know they're out here, man. I know they're here. They want to come and be on stream. Huh? I know they do, Sean. Sean? Hope so. I don't, uh, <laughs> that's what I'm worried about. I don't want to spook them coming in. I'm coming in pretty slow. Uh, now I've got to get used to hearing the link sounds. I've, I had this set up, my friends, on... Um, Red or Whiteheart Island, sorry, on Whiteheart, and that's where I have my bobcat set up. Oh, you, you know what I wanted to do? I forgot about that. Hold on, hold on. I got one more toy to put down. One more toy. One more toy. Let's go to equipment. Oh, vicious! That one sounded mean. And we'll put our little spinner down. Probably got to get far enough away. Can I not put my spinner down here? Oh, I'm too close to the collar. Okay. Okay. Then we will actually put this. Probably get a good view of it back here. There we go. Like, come on. We need toys like this in Call of the Wild, my friends. Look at that. Right. This is going to bring in all the little buggers. All right. Maybe. Oh, there's Shed. I suppose I should go pick that up. Check it out, guys. Another thing I like about Classic. Look at the shed over here. We're going to go and grab that. That's reindeer shed. So you pick these up, and yeah, I mean, it's just all the little things, I guess. I guess we do have lore objects in Call of the Wild, but these randomly show up and can be placed at any particular point in time. So that's kind of cool. Connor Lynch says that that lynx color sounds like a bird. Kind of does, man. Kind of does, doesn't it? Uh, run, run, Rudolph. No, Dylan, I'm, it's not happening. It's not happening. But check it out. Isn't that cool? I think that's awesome. It's going to calculate the treasure. Ooh, a 226.68. Very nice. <laughs> the only downside is, you know, you got to be watching your mate because half the time when you're hearing those calls going off, you don't know what you're hearing. you got to check your hunter mate. <laughs> and get out of here, road deer. We want nothing to do with you. Is it going to snow in the Hunter Call of the Wild? Asked the Country Life. It's a very good possibility, my friend. I highly recommend spending a little time on Medved, my friends. Show it some love in this Christmas season, as it is the most wintry map that we have. Uh, I am disappointed that there wasn't any Christmas events brought to Call of the Wild. That's why we're kind of trying to do our own things here on the channel. And thank you to those of you that are here and hanging out with us and that have uh, stuck around to have a good time. There's more good times to come. I have a Medved hunt planned. If we can get that in before Christmas, would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, and a couple other things. A couple other things. Xbox. Yes, that's right. I want to get an Xbox stream going. 
I know. It's kind of funny, isn't it? Xbox the is a thing now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now I, you know, I got a, I got a hunting buddy here that uh, makes some content <laughs> with me, makes life a little easier. Yeah, I keep checking my hunter mate. I guess that's your collar and making all that noise, huh? It is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It is pretty cool, right? We got a moose out here. Oh, have you I'm not been to here. the bobcat stand over on Whiteheart? Have not. Oh well, Sean, let me tell you, buddy. All right, you know where we're going. <laughs> not right now, <laughs> but soon. Sprayed some moose spray on my way in too, so. Okay, very nice. We do have a moose out here. It's just a female, but you never know what else is going to come in. Right over there, at about 160 on out, 161. All right. So now we need to match the reindeer call, bring them in, because that is really the prize in which we want. We got a little bit of time for it. Hopefully this is going to happen, my friends. I really, really hope so. War Bloody is in the building. Hello. I am fantastic. Thank you for asking. It's great to see you out in the stream. Alex Miller, same with you, my friend. Very nice to see you here. Thank you for coming to, ha to hang out. Uh, guys, yeah, it's just great to see you all. I'm, I, you know, I know this is a little different than the norm. Uh, it's not Call of the Wild. It is classic. And I absolutely love it. I am addicted to this game. It's kind of my guilty indulgence. <laughs> and Mr. Big Gris has got a yes, Christmas year coming in. Fantastic. He says cheers. Thank you very much for your support, my friend. I miss hanging out with you, bud. Haven't seen you around. I know you've been working. It's Christmas. I totally get it. Um, but yeah, bud, I hope you're doing well. Be safe on the road. And uh, 10 and 2, buddy. 10 and 2. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, was that a... No, I thought I actually thought that one was a call. <laughs> Whoops. It got me. It got me. The Red Deer Caller sounds much nicer in Classic than Call of the Wild. Yeah. You know what? You're absolutely right, Warbloody. I fully agree. Uh, there's something about it. You know, they the sounds in Classic, I think, are a lot more on point. All the ambient sounds and everything. I mean, Call of the Wild's great. Don't get me wrong. Love the game. But they really put the time into this. And I suppose, you know, 10 years will do that for you. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no reindeer yet. I had track down here, Sean. Um, the way I'm I looking saw right track. now. Yeah, you saw them too? Good. But I saw them further back down the road. Okay. Well, there's some literally right across from us here. So hopefully we can... Uh, catch them in earshot and get them to come say hi is rudolph in the game asked off-roading boy rudolph is in the game uh i've only got one rudolph thus far if you look at the thumbnail on the video on this live stream that's my rudolph the one that i got and he wasn't too big uh yeah in fact he wasn't wasn't big at all to be honest i think he was about 450 or something like that and i'm told that uh 600 or so is is a trophy that's a keeper but i kept mine anyways just because it had a glowy nose so maybe you're right sean worst comes the worst we could pop into the lodge i'm just embarrassed because i haven't organized I think it. You should. It, it it looks terrible and it's tropical it does not it's not very it Christmassy. Not. but you'll get a good look at rudolph so huh. i enough. think you should my vote i don't know let chat decide Press one in chat if you want Beard to show us the lodge at the end of the street. <laughs> Press five if you don't really care. <laughs> you got to give options. I mean, that's just a one-way kind of deal right there you laid out, my man. Yeah. Well, I know. That way there was only one option. <laughs> um, I see what you did. I see what you did. <laughs> Gaby Goblin says get PS4. I have a PS4. I just, uh, I don't have this game on PS4. Or, sorry, Call of the Wild on PS4. I don't have the time. I'm trying to level my Xbox Call of the Wild profile now and uh, still keep up with it on, on PC. It's, uh, whew, let me tell you. Plus, I have this addiction called the Hunter Classic. I can't stop playing it. I just can't. And I see <laughs> ones from Whitetail Redder. Stace Helfrick says one. Tyler Scott says one. Wolverine says one. Austin Lewis's key is stuck and says one, 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 one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, off roady boy, this is not Medved. This is the Hunter Classic. We are on Hermendal. Uh, it's to find Rudolph. 
So, sorry, Rudolph is not actually in Call of the Wild. This is an event they did in the Hunter Classic. And so we're here right now. We've set up Electronic Collar to bring the links in. we got a moose right across the road. But the prize at the moment is the reindeer. We've only had one reindeer down, so we're hoping to bring some more in. And we should, in theory, be able to if all goes well. I could care less about this cow moose walking around, though. Oh, Sean's... Uh, yeah, he's on it. He's he's flying away here. He's amusing himself. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the plane. Oh, King Rican said one. Donald said one. Jack Kirby said one. Ricky said one. Trevor said one. Quartz. Everyone's saying one. Oh, no. Quartz said five. Thank you, Quartz. Dylan says five. They're like, yeah. We don't need to see your non-tended lodge that you just literally threw your first kills in the game in. Like, there's not even anything nice in there. I'm literally going to walk in, show you Rudolph, say, don't look, and then leave. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Come on, Bobcat. Yeah, no uh, no links yet. Reindeer. No reindeer yet. We got a cow moose. Come on, don't be a bust, Hemdall. Don't be a bust. You got to give us some love here. Something. Chris says you're just getting into the game, so no excuses. I've been there when I started, too. Absolutely, man. Warblade says, I really love Call of the Wild new map. I've gotten five diamonds today, two water buffalo, same herd, one black buck, one axis deer, and a cinnamon teal. Wow. wow. He says his luck is on top. Not seen a diamond track in four months. Hey, buddy, see, there you go. It's coming in landslides. Karma. It's kind of like a karma. You haven't seen it in so long. And now you're you're getting a... Whew, uh, a whole bunch all at once. That's fantastic, man. That's awesome, War Bloody. I'm glad to hear that your luck has turned, pal. Big Oz says, Jack Spear, do you want a 7mm mag or do you just own a 30 odd 6? Uh, I used to own multiple guns. Um, I had kids and I have a wife. Now I own a 30 odd 6. <laughs> and my 22 um, and, you know, 410, stuff like that. But it's not. Uh, Nothing big anymore. Uh, you know, you sell them all off. I, I am looking to buy some more for next year. I, I love my 30-odd six. I would like another uh, 270. I really like it. But they, they, they're, they're so similar into what I'm going to shoot with. I kind of want to get... Uh, I was looking at a 7 mil. Um, I was looking at a 300 wind mag. I, I just... This noise is killing me. It's just hilarious. Wow. It's way more aggressive than the Bobcat. <laughs> it is. It really is, man. What's my biggest diamond? Asked Jackson Love. That would be my 1,000 scoring moose. Uh, that was when I stopped trying to get meese. I, I went hard on the meese until I got it. And I, I, I got about 20-odd plus meese to, to get it. I mean, it was ridiculous. But that was what I wanted it to be, my first 1,000. I really want... Uh, a 1,000 scoring whitetail too, just because, you know, I hunt them so much. And now I need to get a 1,000 scoring mule deer. That's going to be a goal. Just that famale. No reindeer yet. Cool. Wow. No, I don't see any on the tree lines either. I'm looking... I don't see any yet either. They may be taking their time. Hopefully there's something here. I hate to think we're just going to sit here for the rest of the stream and nothing comes in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my dream gun in color. real life. I, I'd love a... Uh, I Actually, you know what? I'd like a muzzle loader. I've really, really started to appreciate muzzle loaders. I've never fired one. Uh, I've never hunted with one. But a dream gun would probably be a nice big old 50 cal you know something i would never buy but would love to own <laughs> um of course you know now if we really want to get into it i'd like to I, 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 my buddy's got a gorgeous seiko you should see this thing it's 30 on six uh it's gorgeous i should have i should have I, maybe i did take pictures i'd have to take a look i might have some pictures of it and if i do i'll definitely put them into discord prettiest gun i've ever seen man it, it cost them a, about 4500 bucks and uh that's canadian mind my, my you but still a lot of money and gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i guess we'll bring that moose back and we'll shoot it since it's just wandering around here something's gotta die since we haven't got any uh reindeer yet but every time I've come up here, I've gotten reindeer. 
none such of the luck yet. Well, you know, a few days before Christmas, they might be a little preoccupied. Uh oh, well, <laughs> especially with those folks that live in the future, you know. Yep. Yeah, they're always that day ahead. But that's why the time zones exist. We know this, so that Santa has time to get everywhere. Because could you imagine if he had to be everywhere at once? It just doesn't work. <laughs> that is truly why we have time zones. You know, I bet you didn't know that, guys. Oh, yeah. Facts with Jaxie right here. Christmas facts. <laughs> <laughs> Austin Lewis, don't you dare. Gord <laughs> says you can spend as much as you want, really. You can stick with free, or you can be over a thousand. Wait, what are we talking about? Steve, how things are your wallet? Oh, okay. Steve Claxon says, Mr. Beard, sorry for one second. He says, This game looks good. I know that the game is free to play, but how much does it, it does it in total in money to get everything you need in the game? As Courts is saying, and we were talking about this earlier, you can do it cheaper. You can. You don't have to go and do what I did and 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 well, I'm almost dead. Never mind. Um, you don't have to do that. I wanted a lot of setups. I wanted this. I wanted that. I'm that guy. Unfortunately, I, me and spending a willpower, you don't say those in the same breath. I feel wrong having just done so. So, yeah, yeah. You, you can do it quite reasonably cheap. Um, here, let's see your gun there, Sean. This is the 9.3. This gun can drop just about every animal. If you bought that, you know, which cost? I, I think he got it was on sale for like three hundred DM or something, wasn't it? Yeah, I think like three seventy five or something like that. There you go. So you know, you could buy a gun like that, and you can take almost every single animal. Buy yourself a bow or a crossbow. You're set. You know, you get your colors. Now, when you get set up and you got to buy a membership, you can buy like the Trailblazer kit or something like that, and uh, it includes some base gear, some base colors. But everything is always on sale. When things are on sale, you buy them while they're on sale. You can do it cheap. I know people who have been playing this game for well over a year and are about a hundred bucks into it. Not even, not even a hundred. I think they were eighty. It was uh, Whale was telling me. I think he was eighty dollars into it. He's been playing longer than a year too, hasn't he? Wow, a couple of years. Yeah, I think I, he I has spent that in three days, two days, <laughs> and and that that is the thing. It is very very easy to spend that kind of money. So you got to tell yourself and set that limit. It's like walking into a casino. Only put. 20 40 bucks in your pocket man don't take your whole wallet <laughs> right can you have a muzz muzzle loaders in bc you certainly can wolverine uh but it's during our regular rifle season so it would be pretty cool though you know it really would caleb says his main hunting rifles are a marlin 3030 and a savage 308 gorgeous guns gorgeous i i, I love 308s my buddy uh uses nothing but a 338 this is kind of sad we're not getting anything here man it does seem to be pretty dead today, which is unusual oh, from what I've heard. It's frustrating. And we don't want to make a big boom. We don't see anything coming in through the trees. Nothing coming out behind us, eh? That moose just sitting there. No lynx. No nothing. We got a female moose and a roe deer up the hill, like... Holy. Now, this game is a little more realistic than Call of the Wild. It's not the action pack, and I don't know the, wild, the, the game well enough to know all of the action pack spots. I'm making a list, though. <laughs> I'm jugging it twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, Sounds good, Stacy. 65 meters out there. Where what? Sorry? I said she's 55 meters from us. Almost perfect broadside if you wanted to try to take a long shot with the crossbow we give it a shot i'm just worried if i miss and she runs off well i'll throw one in there with you if you tell me which dot oh. you used i don't know <laughs> uh 20 40 60 80 is how it goes on this so in between oh, okay. the 40 and the 60 all righty and in three two one That's how it's done. <laughs> Lucy nice. got dead. <laughs> dead, yes, sir. Not bad, buddy. Not bad. Yeah, nice to have that follow up just in case. You know, I didn't want it to run and spook anything. Yep. No, no. And that's what's cool about this game is it doesn't hurt the scoring of the animal at all. Yeah. Yeah, which is kind of nice. 
Hey, Days or MM65, good morning to you and welcome. It's nice to have you over here today. Anthony Jones, welcome back. Thank you for coming back to hang out. And I also see that my man, Mr. Adam Schmidt, has rolled in. He's watching on his Xbox right now. We are looking for the red nosed reindeer. Oh, Santa's guider. But he's, uh, they're not showing their face, man. We're, we're obviously not. So the problem is with the reindeer, and we said it earlier, I've been told that the reindeer actually travel. Keep checking that spinner too, because that'll, that'll bring them right to it, eh? Um, mm -hmm. The reindeer migrate. So, you know, you might just be in the right place at the wrong time. That's a thing. So that was a worry, you know, and that's why I was recording to do a video. Of course, when I did my video, first reindeer I shot that day was a Rudolph. <laughs> you know, go figure, right? <laughs> so if I can get that edited, we may have to just put that out because as it stands right now, we're just not having any luck. Oh, my goodness. It's killing me. It's absolutely killing me. I mean, the plus side is we get to yip yap and chit chat. So if you have anything you want to ask Sean, go right ahead. Oh, I guess me too. <laughs> but, <you know. laughs> so throw me under the bus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. What is ten dollars in English pounds? Uh, English pound right now, I believe, is worth one point six. On the conversion, there's a reindeer right here just came in. Looks like a famale. And we'll spot that female, which means there may be more coming. Hey, okay. are we finally going to get some reindeer in? Very nice. That looks just about like the size of the one that I shot earlier. It certainly female. is, right? Mind you, you know, it hasn't been that long. It's not like, you know, anything crazy. I mean, I'll sit sometimes in my tree stands and not see anything for 20 minutes and then you just can't stop shooting for the next 20 minutes you know right <laughs> so it is what it is dead says dylan in dallas yes sir <laughs> nice skull dallas i like that 5 46 p.m there where you're at uh, 249 okay so you're east coast i'm west coast that's uh the three hour difference right there hey 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 sure i tell you you think that growling lynx would scare away the roe deer? Lynx That's must what eat roe deer. Say. Right? <laughs> you know, I mean, everything should eat roe deer. <laughs> I think. And good evening to you, Mathroom Strode. Thank you for coming out today. It is great to have you with us. Anthony Joe says, What's your biggest kill in this game? On, on which? What are we referring? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I hate how that rattler is used in the games. Oh, I know, Austin. We were laughing about it earlier. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Shot, shot. Come on, come on. Are you ready? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Reminds me when my kids were babies playing with a toy. You know, that, that, that. And then they bash it together. You know? <laughs> right? Not at all. Not at all how you use a rattler, but hey, you know what? It's an animation and it's in game and I'm just happy it's here. <laughs> uh, that's okay, Kevin. Welcome back, buddy. We're uh, we're still looking for our reindeer. We got a reindeer walking in right now. It is a famale, so we're really not too thrilled with it. But when there's one, hopefully there's more. So we'll see if anything else wants to come and poke his head out. Where did she go? I wasn't really watching her. She's behind that green tree right there, oh, uh, about 11.30. I see her. I see her. Oh, and I need to quickly click on there to see that Dark Void 1363 has just rolled in and joined us as he's on the big old subscription early. Welcome, my friend. Nice to have you with us. And welcome to the stream. So, Rudolph can't be female. I love the little touch you know, look when she breathes out. You know it's chilly. I mean, why don't we have to wear winter clothing? I am wearing winter clothing because I like to be warm. Sean here has got his sleeves rolled up. He's, uh, he's about to I'm go do blooded. work. You're warm-blooded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you actually did pretty well. And for those of you that don't know, Sean actually, uh, he lives in Texas and I live in Canada. He flew up here this year and came out for a hunt with me. I took him out to a place called Merritt. We went on a mule deer hunt and uh, it was a lot of fun. Complete oh, I had a blast. Yeah, it was great. And but now the, you did pretty well with the weather because it got chilly where we were at night, and we were up high, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it, it wasn't bad. I want to say I can't remember a time where I was like cold, 
cold, you know? I mean, right. there was a couple nights it got chilly, but... Right, yeah, no, no, I hear you there. I, did I ever hunt the werewolf hunt for Halloween or classic? Okay, so listen, Northeast Woods, but I gotta be straight with you. I have avoided this game. I started on Call of the Wild before I knew about this game. And then I saw this game through Flinter, and I played a little bit, uh, joined a competition... Uh, for EW on stream, and I, you know, I had a lot of fun with it, and I realized, I see, I, I'm a certain kind of special. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I can't help myself when it comes to spending. I'm very, very bad, and I have very, very weak willpower on stuff. I want it, I buy it. Is generally how I've done it. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> you know, I've put the company on hold. The, the excavators are all apart. So now I'm on a very very strict budget. And I thought, I can't play this game. Are you kidding me? And I've been good. I managed not to. Yet here I am. I My will broke down. And uh, I blame the barber shop because everyone was playing it in there. <laughs> it's fully their fault. Why are you feeding? Get over here. <laughs> I tell you. Kill you. Kill you. Anyhow. And uh, since starting, I mean, holy. Holy. That's all I can say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not going to incriminate myself because Mrs. B might watch this later. So I really don't want to get busted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. And Gaming Goblin, I see that you live close to near Austin. A lot of Texans in the Discord lately. Very much so. Very much so. Well, this thing does not look like it wants to walk over to us. We're a bust, man. We're a bust. Yeah, I don't see any other ones this is, coming uh, in behind her either. Nothing. You know, I uh, I don't even know what to say. I'm terribly disappointed. If we shoot that, we're done. Yep. <laughs> That's the downside. I want to say just drop it. But... What's uh, she at? Distance wise, we could do the crossbow thing again. That's a ways. Yeah, she's about she's 90. 89, and that's yep. on the tree, right? I'm at 80, 75 on the tree. Oh, yeah, no, no, it was on her, so 91. See, so in Call of the Wild, that would read that tree. That wouldn't read the animal. 92. She wants nothing to do with us. That's interesting. The only two we've seen so far were females and were traveling alone. Yeah, which is bizarre. They're supposed to migrate in, you know, larger groups. Even if they're loosely spread, that's uh, often what you see here if you head up north. Right, we have caribou, which is, you know, same thing as reindeer, basically. Very hard to get a tag for out here. Very, very hard indeed. Well, let's give it a try. So I'm, 20, I'm, 40, 60, 80. So we need to lift. I would say put the ball in the top of her spine. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, we just missed. It went right underneath her. <laughs> was it under or behind? I, I want to say it looked like it was under. All right, let's try again. Let's lift a little higher this time. If that doesn't work, then we'll go a little lower. Oh. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Three. Oh. Two. Eh. One. Oh, we hit her. We hit her. <laughs> you definitely make shots at that range. <laughs> yeah, you can. I don't know how much punch we'd have, but a good right. 130 pounds of oomph jamming into that there looks like a pretty decent amount of blood on the ground there she's still moving though you can see the dark spot from the blood in your spotting scope that's pretty cool <laughs> well you can actually see it from here oh you can too oh it just vanished you could on my screen. you could too <laughs> 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 nothing for the lynx no more reindeer Well, my friends, I apologize. A little bit of a bust. I was really looking forward to producing some reindeer. It has not happened. We got some moose. 
We uh, we got a reindeer. We had an okay hunt. It wasn't bad. A little quiet no. for what I'm used to, Sean, here in, in Classic. I got to admit. Hey. Well, I mean, the only experience... I've, I've had very little experience in here. I've gone to the Golden Tree Stand with you guys and a couple bait barrels. But the hunting I've done on my own, uh, it's it's pretty similar to what it was here. But it... Uh, you know, this is a more realistic hunting simulator. You're right. not going to have animals just flowing through the woods all the time. Well, this is true. This is true. It is more And realistic. I kind of enjoy that about it, because then when that monster does step out, it's that much more, you know, look at that kind of a thing. <laughs> well, and it was a lot of fun. It was nice being able to chat a little more and answer a few more questions. Not missing as much chat either. Um, mm -hmm. You know, a little, little more subdued of a stream, definitely relaxing, and, and I think we'll definitely do something in the future. I'll probably have uh, um, some videos coming out on the game itself. Most of all, though, guys, I want to thank everybody for coming to join us here today. I do believe we are going to go ahead and call it right there because, well, quite frankly, my kids are off. We've got no animals. It's Christmas. It's Christmas time. <clears throat> Trophy watch. <clears throat> Trophy launch. Oh. <laughs> oh. I couldn't let you forget. Well, we got to let him see the root off. I don't have any. Uh, I mean, okay, that's fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because it looks good. I went in there and looked. If it didn't look good. I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, <laughs> Flinter's streaming right now. Okay. Already. I had no idea. Uh, no, we did not. We did not find a root off, unfortunately. Um, we're going to look in my terrible lodge that I have done nothing to. I've been coerced. I have not sorted <laughs> nothing. In fact, my biggest kills aren't even in here. I just slammed all these in, put them up on the wall. Um, but here is a Rudolph, my friends. Rudolph the Red Nose, my reindeer. <laughs> not anything huge. Um, but still a nice reindeer nonetheless. I love the options of being able to do this here in a trophy lodge. As you can see, I, I do a lot of deer hunting. <laughs> you know, I, I do a lot of deer hunting. Yours, yours looks better than mine. You're, you're more than welcome to look at mine if you wanted it to. This was <laughs> actually uh, one of the first animals I put in here. And this was a hunt first time I was out with Flinner. And, uh, yeah, I quite uh, quite liked this guy. I was pretty happy with it. It was a water buffalo, 227. I don't even know what the scoring at this point, but he told me it was uh, halfway decent. This was the first animal that uh, I mounted, and it's a piebald boar, uh, a feral hog, sorry, that I got from Bush Rangers Run. And, yeah, a roe deer, a 205. That's really the only somewhat halfway decent stuff I got in here. Everything else, eh, you know. I mean, I got this elk, and I was pretty made up with it. A 328, it's okay. Nice. Yeah, it's not bad. It doesn't have a lot of the back tines. I've got bigger elk since then. They're just not in here. I got a 360, I believe, is the one I got. This white tail, you know, 173. They're all a little subpar. That's why I wasn't going to show this off. And yes, it's the Tropical Lodge. I, I couldn't help it, man. There's something about it. I, I like the whole tropical feel. I thought, hey, let's do it. So I will get a lodge set up. I've got a whole lodge worth of animals I need to stick in anyways. But there it is, my friends. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in my lodge already shot. Merry Christmas, everybody. And it has been an absolute pleasure here today, guys. Thank you for coming to hang out. We are going to do more this weekend. Reiki Racer is up tonight at 6 o'clock. I hope to see you all there. It's going to be a blast. He's heading out to Fernando, he tells me. Make sure to come and hang out. At least come and say hi and drop a like for me. Tell him the beard sent you. My man, Sean Johns, he is a fantastic content creator. I'd like to give him a big shout out because he's come out to hang out here today. Uh, we often do a lot of things together. Check him out if you haven't already. Sean, put something into, into the chat there if you want to do me a favor. Click on his name. I can see that uh, Riki's got his name there. Click on him as well, guys. Make sure to give these guys a sub and check them out. They're absolutely fantastic. I'll see you tonight with Riki Racer at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 9 Eastern or 8 Central. Sean, what's your plans? Are you coming out tonight to uh, check out the stream too? Oh, I'll definitely be watching for sure. Right on, bud. Thank you so much for coming to keep me company, man. You rock. Thanks for the invite. It was a blast, man. Enjoyed it. My pleasure, buddy. My pleasure. Merry Christmas. If I don't see you guys on stream, as we will have more coming, I should hopefully see you in Discord. Thank you, my friends.